Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're doing another episode in our legendary uh, Wizardman campaign for Total War Number Two. I'm the Strategy Professor. Get back in here. So last episode we were looking for a good fight. We finally found one at the end. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're just we're so strong right now with this one army. Um, and we're just we're like the biggest difference right now is not that the Wizardmen are overwhelmingly powerful. They are very strong early on. It's that we are friendly with a lot of our neighbors. That's the huge thing. It's particularly these elves. The biggest thing in the Skaven campaign is these people absolutely hate you. And they will come to war with you the entire time. Now, they are going to come to war with me. I do not doubt that for a second. They are eventually going to turn on me. But for right now, we just don't have anyone that can compete with us here. Um, I mean, we do have the option. If we really want to like try to confederate with these people... Um, okay, they did actually take this town, so I could go back and take this back eventually. If we really want to confederate with these people, though, um, we might need to fight the Netrek Brotherhood. Uh, let me see here. Ooh, they will confederate with us right now. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, that's what we've been angling for. Now, that's going to make everyone else... Actually, no, just the... Um, just the other Lizardmen not like us, temporarily. It's going to create a lot of public order problems, too. But, I mean, we've got to do it, I think. See if they'll do payments. That's not as good. That's not as much as I would have liked earlier, obviously, you know, when they had a bunch more territory, but let's get everything we can out of them. Market. But so they took one of their towns, so now they're feeling scared. Is basically what happened. They took a town and I crushed uh, some elves over here. So they're like, you know what? You're pretty strong. We're kind of in a pickle here. And that's usually when they'll confederate with you. Is when you're just far stronger than them and you have good relations with them. Nice. Okay, we got him. Yeah, these guys do not like us as much now. Um, the only faction that... Nice, and that gave us the trigger for that because I'm going to delete some of these. This other lord, although my uh, money's not that bad. Oh, and I can do uh, this, so I could actually do a uh, quest battle right now too if I wanted to. I think. Uh, and we're in pretty good shape. And we're a little injured. I could step back over to my territory, do the quest battle, and then come over here and burn this next turn. I just I don't like to multi-sack the same place, but if it's 15,000 gold for a sack, because it won't let me burn it this turn, it's it's going to just allow me, I can either occupy it or do nothing. So, so it does not like to sack and then burn on the same turn. Okay, what do we want here for skills? Beast Driver. Working that... Um, how many more turns of this bonus do we have? 20 more turns. Um, little homie here. Okay, can't do replenish yet. I guess we have to do this stuff. Now this stuff seems pretty silly, but once we get on top of the uh, Stegadon, ancient Stegadon, this is actually going to be pretty decent. Weapon strength, jungle toxins, okay. Um, lots of extra ammo and bloody blade. Might not be that bad, and then slippery. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, he's going to be a pretty good little fighter, honestly. Uh, like, their mounts are just insane, that all of them get these, like, really good mounts. It's like ancient Stegadon mounts. 
yeah, we're not going to be a sad. I just don't even use assassination or that. I just don't like it. I mean, it just feels like it's kind of cheesy. I might use that against like heroes at some point, but okay. Can I do this, or do I have to be in my own territory to do it? I can teleport. Okay, it's telling me it's like fifty-fifty. I mean, I don't lose anything by just waiting and doing it next turn after I get, like, one turn of replenishment in here, so. I mean, we might as well, right? You know, just get one turn of replenishment, make sure everyone's topped off, and then we can go in and fight him. Um, this garrison will still be basically wiped out. So then we can teleport, fight that, and then take this out. Um... It's a pretty high lord. Um, how badly did they butcher it, though? Not, not that badly. Honestly, not that badly. I might actually be able to use this guy. Now, the Saurus are going to be expensive, but I am going to get some um, upgrades on. So maybe I could run Saurus on him instead of Skinks. I do have some extra income. These are just too expensive. But I think I might actually be able to use this guy. What kind of... Opal Amulet, Carnosaur Pendant. Ooh, that's pretty good. Plan Buster... Okay. Book Order Construction. Okay. I think I can actually use this guy. Usually when you inherit a lord, if they're a higher level, then they just kind of suck, because they just won't level the right stuff. Now, Bonded Service, I would probably rather have Ancient Cunning, but this is this is not awful. This is actually pretty good in the Red Tree. This is probably the best I've ever seen the AI manage, um, manage their stuff. So if I just get one more point, then I can get over here pretty quickly, you know, in a few more levels, and get to Geomantic Sustenance. Now, what can I recruit here? What do we have? Wow, they've got a tier 5? Dang, that's sweet. Okay. Got this. Oh, we can hire the special, uh, the fire bola. Fire leech bolas. We can hire, uh, horned ones if we want. We probably don't want that. We can hire Temple Guard and Saurus Veteran. We'll get a couple of these. You know, once again, they're pretty awful, but... You know, they're upgradable, and they're about the same. I mean, they're okay. Now... Oh, I forgot that gives you exotic animals, too. Okay, so here's the revivification. Do we have... We don't have the... The building for the revivification, though. Okay, so we might actually just hire that here. So we don't even have to hire this anywhere else. We're getting this guy. We're going to get one more Slan Priest. Potentially. Um, yeah, that'll save us a lot of, a lot of money. So we could actually just hire the revivification people here and just get this here. And just recruit that stuff over here. Okay. Okay, so let's, could get Crocs or Temple Guard here. Uh, we don't need growth. I don't, I mean, everything's capped, basically. 
But yeah, we don't need the growth. So we can go ahead and get rid of that comfortably. Uh, this stuff. What is this? Income. That does help with income. Getting decent income here. We've already got a gold building. Gold building. Cool one, Spear Riders. Uh, let me look at his... Okay, so I do get a bl blessing here. Wow, I'm glad they didn't get their blessing already, because next turn I can go ahead and get this... Uh... Yes, this one. Pterodon, Cold One, Stegodon, Bastillon, Crime Scrolls. Okay. Yeah, it's the same stuff as Croc Score. Okay, so we can get this one. I'll give me a pretty big discount on... Um, Pterodon and Cold Ones are the big one, and Stegodon. Okay, so we might actually keep this guy around. The Skinks are kind of stupid. These guys are pretty bad. Um... Okay, QX solar, whatever. Start the walls up. Grid that. Death's head can get marble. Uh, I kind of like the recruitment capacity, though. How much does it... Please tell me the Stegonon's not three. Okay. Uh... Stegadon's three turns. These are two. Okay, nice. These are only two turns, though, for the revivification. Sweet. Okay, let me try to figure out what I want. Okay, so we have negative eight public order. How soon are we going to get rebellions for that? Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go south and get take care of business. I think my main places will be fine, but the places that I just conquered are gonna have some problems. Okay, so what we can do then is um, okay, we got the scrying, we started working that. We got the herbs, should be giving us some money. Yes. Now we lost one of our trade partners. But we're still exporting 100% right now of all our stuff. So a thousand gold with the elves. And they are not going to like that we just got a new trade partner in town. Let's see if we can get better relationships. I would really, really like to not have to deal with them. I bid you welcome in the name of the king. It's so expensive for a small gift, though. I have a non-aggro with them, right? Yes. I think you have to have a non-aggro before you can do trade. Mm. Well, I don't want to get rid of my... Th God, that's a thousand a turn off a trade. I really want them to be my friends. <laughs> or to be my friend. Um, okay, let's go ahead and prep up a couple of things here then. What do we want? Actually... Recruitment cost and capacity up. Okay, I want that. Okay, so I need to get this then, so that I can get uh, vivification. Okay, so that's something I definitely want. Don't need to upgrade that. Um. Don't want to build crocs or anything here. I don't have a gold mine. I just do mystic barriers. Probably good. I think I'm gonna go with Saurus because he's already started upgrading Saurus. It is gonna be very expensive though, but I think we can just have like a five stack of Saurus or six stack. We don't need as many as I have in my other army. Like you don't have to have a 20 stack with the Lizardmen to go through and crush other things, especially smaller things. You can probably do it with a 10 or 12 stack. 
So that's just how you mitigate having really strong units that are also very expensive. Now there's no public order here yet, which is an issue, obviously. Um, because they, I mean, the AI doesn't need it, so why would they build it? They get free public order. Okay, so I can either go money or public order. I think I have to go public order. You just you can't be greedy like that. We got to go at least one public order because we've already got the pterodons over here. Don't want to get rid of that. I'm gonna need walls over here. I think. What's is this the thing that's off in the corner? Maybe I don't need walls right there. Cause there's not. I guess there is a coast right here where people could come in. And these guys do not like us. Yeah, I might need to get walls. I have to get rid of that. It's the tier 3 is not needed for any kind of tech. No, just the tier 2. Yeah, so we're going to have to get rid of that. And we're going to have to get walls. Um, and I don't want to get rid of the Pterodon thing, obviously. So... And I think we're going to need walls here, most likely. Yeah, or the Skink. Things so I could get crop scores if I want those. Uh, I would still like, even though they're a bit more expensive, maybe one or two crop scores in an army would be nice. Um, yeah, I definitely think public order here, and then here we're gonna have to upgrade this and get walls. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna need some public order. Okay, so that's all good. Um, and now do I hire this turn or do I just wait? They have a couple of blessed Saurus. These are too much. Those are those are just too much That's garbage. Get that out of there. There's way too much gold. Um, these are expensive, but manageable. We're gonna get the discount on them soon. These are okay, I guess. Saurus. Okay, those are all right. We could wait till next turn and get fifteen percent off. How much how much are these fireballs so that would give me like like 90 gold for each one of these that i want to discount with are these part of that discount package that i get i'm trying to remember yes pterodon cold one stegodon bastodon carnosaur okay so basically every cool beast except for croc score Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab, um... Melee type, defense, weapon strength. Okay, so these are just a lot worse, but they are so much cheaper. Okay, so let's go... Wow, those are only one turn? All right, so let's go two of those little meat shield units, and then um, the normal ones here. Fifty gold's a pretty big deal. The other one, eleven gold for upgrade ones with the spears, and doesn't matter that much. But here, it's a little much. Okay, we'll go with that. Now how much is that? It's 1,400 gold, and then this is 1,200. It's 14. So I'm going to get 15% off. 1,400, 1,200, 2,600. 15% off would be like 400 extra gold. But I, I can't wait that long. Like We've got to go south, I think. How many turns to rebellions? Like three turns. It's gonna be a 20 sec by the time I get down there. Maybe I don't even have time for that. What can I hire in here? Um, get rid of that and then just put down like a Saurus place. That way I can hire some Saurus on the way. I can sell this building and get something else later, but this will let me hire some Saurus on the way. And this will give me a decent balance where I could have 
a front line of like, you know, five Saurus and then three flankers and two just kind of beast tank units. Oh wait, no, I wanted um, I wanted some of those flying units. Okay, I think, um, sorry, I'm just trying to balance this out here. I think those are going to be pretty good. I want to try them out, though. Okay, so that'll... The next turn we can hire... Like, two more, like, Saurus or something. I want at least three flank. So it'll give me three flank, one like face tank beast that causes terror. And then I can get one more of these. That'll give me two flyers, three flankers, one terror beast. And then I, as I run down, I can hire three more Saurus. And I think that'll be a decent little crew. Okay. Everyone else is all good. Let's see. It's fine. Oh, I need to hire a Saurus guy too over there. Put him with me. That'll give me one more dude too. Okay, so recruit hero. Hero recruit rank plus two local province. Oh, nice. So if I hire another hero somewhere, that'd be good. Okay. This training is just such garbage. Yes, we just go predatory fighter. I do I hire a second one and put him with this army? Hmm. I think so. He's. Heroes are always good. You just kind of want to max out on the heroes because they can hold a bunch of items. And that becomes pretty instrumental later on. So you can get a bunch of like extra movement speed, you know, extra just whatever. Yeah, so we'll get both of them going. Wait, now why does this guy get all this extra stuff? Oh, because the other guy gets plus two recruitment. Okay. A little slow, running a little slow today. Okay, this guy gets 10% when fighting against Beastmen, Skaven, Chaos. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, armor is something I'm interested in. Weapon strength. Maybe my attack's really good. Just go with Blade Master. Okay, we'll fight with them next turn. And then I just looked, all the buildings are all good. Now we could get this upgraded. How much? Uh, oh, I didn't realize this. What is this? Skink Chiefs, all provinces. Plus one. Upkeep for Skink and Chameleon. Minus 30%. Huh. I'm not going to be running a lot of skinks, but hero recruit rank, skink chiefs and chameleons, huh? Well, do have a little bit of disposable. I mean, I might be able to, we'll go ahead and upgrade it. That sounds good. Because I am selling all of it, I think, 100%, so. Uh, let's check my diplomacy. Wait, how can I trade with them? They're on the other end of the universe. Lord of 
Whether chivalrous or not, I will strike you down, scum, if your words displease me. Where is this guy? I didn't even know they had Bretonians over here. Uh, he's not in here. This is what I want. Cause this is the ritual sites, like right there. I don't care about this stuff. I'm not like you don't have time to take over the whole map if you're doing the um, on legendary. Is the rituals just get done too quickly? Sure. Okay. Yeah, anyone else I can trade with, uh, I'm down with that. These guys don't hate me too much, I don't think. Just because I'm great power, but they don't have aversion. And when I start killing all of these other people, these Netrarch Brotherhood people and all that stuff, they're going to like that a lot. Suddenberg. Okay. What? My throng stands ready. Yeah, they don't like us. At your service. Uh, Speak. You may approach, but please do. Bunch of haters, man. Suddenberg. Okay, they don't like our treaties. The time for talk is over. Make your demands. They're kind of close. We could kill them at some point. Nobody likes Netrarch. They don't like us. Strigoi, yeah, we'll kill all of them. Okay, just having like a couple of trade partners would be nice in case I reach max capacity. Okay. Sweet, I'll take it. Okay, so now we got our second lord. He's doing all right. We're gonna have to run and defend all of this stuff. And once he comes down here and colonizes this, defend, get all, gets all this set up, then we can do the ritual and uh, go ahead and start catching up a little bit here. And we're sending our guy up north, don't forget. We're going to go try to scout out um, Mazda Mundi. Now, we just heard our relations with him a little bit. Oh, there he is. Okay. Wizard Caliph's Palace. Yeah, I think it's uh, almost certain it's going to be um, Tomb Kings and Araby. Will be two factions. How many? In Total War Warhammer 1, new factions that weren't really fleshed out were Norska Beastmen High Elves I think Beastmen and High Elves were the only two that like weren't originally on the map that got fleshed out so they had two and then here it looks like they'll have two but they might add some extra stuff like they could do like Vampire Coast or something I don't know I think they'll have to stretch it a little bit some of the modders will do some great work, I'm sure. I already heard about like alternate start position mods and things like that, so that could be cool. Dude, did they seriously spam another block army on me? What is that? These guys trying to step to me? Are you serious right now? That's as far as I can run? Like, what kind of block army is this? How does it block me, like, 90%? Minus 53%. That's not minus 53%. Last time I looked, 22%. That's an 80% block. What the hell? Can I assassinate this piece of crap? He keeps blocking me. Oh, God, that's really frustrating. Okay, let's do this quest battle first. Oh, that might actually give us... That might actually let us spot Master Mundi. If we do that. That's not going to be good because it's going to hurt our diplomatic relations with him at some point, but... I right, let's do it. Whatever. Pretty confident we can beat him.
shock calf. Okay. Uh, Sun Dragon's gonna be a problem, but these uh, Cold One Spear Riders, rank nine Cold One Spear Riders, should be able to crunch some people. Croxagor should beat up these guys pretty heavily. Um, Saurus will do all right against them. Not amazing. They'll do all right. Missile Specialist. We can put him on the dragon. A bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think we can do it. Oh, it's like an ambush battle? Okay. Okay, so this was the thing that was like previewed, I believe. Wait, him. Okay, nine. I guess I could just do a uh, wind spell here. Yeah, it'll knock him down and allow me to charge a little bit better. So they're all dead. And we gotta keep going. Those damn, um... Yeah, you 
dang right it is. Alright, get up here, kill these. Yeah, of course they do. Alright, let's go. That's an astute observation. They have you in a tight choke point and are firing artillery on you. That's bad. Didn't even get in there. Come on. Head on up, boys. Oh, this guy's trying to step, huh? He's immune to fire, so there's no point throwing fire on him. Throw a midnight wind on him, though. <laughs> Dang, dude. Those things take care of business. My god, against dragons. Okay. Those cold ones, bonus versus dragons, duly noted. Absolutely slaughter dragons. As does uh, my homeboy here. My boy's taking a lot of heat here. Yo, what are we doing? Come on. Reinforcements. Okay, get in here and kill all these before those reinforcements get over here. Oh, Y'all done goofed. My SARS will tear you up. Get in here. Get get those. Oh god. That fire. Dude, these things, like, 
This is like Demi Gerfriders 2.0. Like these cold ones with spears just absolutely slaughter anything that's large. They have such huge armor piercing damage. Besides, that. Get those on there. Get. Yeah, I mean, these guys have, like, the best mounts in the game, too. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you get to ride Carnosaurs and, like, Ancient Stegodons. Like, they're expensive, but... May have actually hit my own dudes a little bit there. Like Jurassic Park all over again here. Is that just the dinosaurs won? Get him, Crocs. Sword Masters of Hoeth. All right, Sword Masters. What you know about some uh, giant wizards riding raptors coming at you? Yeah, I weren't ready for that, huh? Dude, that, that calf, like, those things are so good. Like, that costs 70 gold or something for those units right now. On Legendary, when I have, like, with the, the penalty or whatever. With Krokgar's army. 70 gold. That's, like, the price of goblins. Those things probably had, like, 200 kills. Not that much. I mean, they are high elves. They're not Skaven, but still, like... Killed so many things. Most kills by far are those things. Now, yes, it's be a lot of it's because I left the croc scores out of there. But, or the croc, whatever. Big crocs with the uh, maces out of there, but these things are just faster, too, so they can just get around and flank and do more damage. I really like this guy's mask. These kind of remind me of like the Savage Orcs a little bit. With, they have all these like war paints and things. 245 is such a joke. I'm going to replenish it all next turn. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with this. So I got vision of that place. Huh. Nah, he's over here, I guess. That's where my other homeboy is. Alright, let's go back down. Kingdom of Beasts. Oh, we just finished this up too. Okay, so can we do the ritual yet? Yes.
because you can only hire one every 10 turns, I guess. Um... Put one with this army. This guy doesn't have a magic user, I don't think. Wait, where do you, how do you recruit it? Recruited from any settlement. I mean, it has to have that building, right? Is that what it is? Slam Mage Priest capacity. How does that work? Is it a lord? Oh, it's a lord. Oh. I thought it was a hero. Okay, it's a lord. Oh, that's not as good then. Probably. I mean, I've never looked to see. I'm kind of con... Hmm. I'm kind of tempted... Now, I could just look him up in, like, another campaign and not waste 825 here. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. After this episode, I'll go look it up and see if he's worth it or not, and then I'll talk about it in the next episode. Because I really don't want to waste 825. Um. Okay. Okay. So, he's a... He's a... I kind of want to know, though. I mean, I I could look it up in the middle of this episode, like, after I finish a turn or something, I could exit out and go, like, wow, crap, because he's not going to be the same as what's-his-name, um, the legendary lord, uh, Mazda Mundi, he's not going to be exactly the same. Maybe I just hire him and take a look. I mean, it's only 825 gold. I'm probably not going to keep him, but then if I want him back, I can hire him back for free later on, I'm pretty sure, if I dismiss him. So it cost me 825 gold to take a look. I mean, maybe he has some insane stuff, and I would want to use him to replace this guy. It's unlikely, but it's possible. I mean, he's going to have the same red and blue tree, probably. He's just going to have some magic instead. But I can just use the Skink Priest. I mean, the Skink Priest is great. Um, which reminds me, I could have hired a Skink Priest here, probably, right? I thought we had the town to hire. Isn't it just, like, one of these? Oh, I don't have it upgrade yet. Gotcha. Okay, so it needs to be like here. Okay. Yeah, you get a Stegadon with them. And like War of Beast is pretty good. War of Heavens is okay. War of Beast is actually really good. Um God, I just want to look and see. I mean it's only 825 gold. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We'll just we'll see what he is. See if it's worth it or not. I mean, he requires a special tier four building. Let's just take a look. What did I get for that? Higher lord or something? Okay, well I guess I got paid eight hundred gold for four ancient plaques. Now I'm gonna dismiss him. I just kind of want to see what he does. Okay, 
So yeah, he has all the same red and blue stuff, which is what you'll have to get. I mean, you're going to have to go get Geomantic, so you're not even going to be able to get all this cool stuff. Protection. Extra missile resist. Magic reserve. Uh, less magic for the enemy. Plus 20 wins of magic. You get two uses of this. Banishment. Okay, so that's a pretty powerful vortex spell. You get two uses at 135. I mean, I've had people say in my comments, well, don't play with your unit sizes on Ultra also. Like, it breaks the game. It's They've done a lot better about balancing that, and I don't want... Like, some people would say it breaks the game. I'd say it balances the game. I don't want a spell to completely wipe out an entire battalion. And there are some, like, top-end Vortex spells and even Wind spells and things that, you know, will almost kill a battalion, even on Ultra. I don't want that. I don't want, like, the enemy to be able to cast, like, a Vortex and wipe out, like, three of my battalions with it. And I think that just promotes also, if you run like small unit sizes or even medium or whatever, like you can just cast magic and completely destroy factions. I don't like that. I'd rather win by tactics. And if you notice, most of the magic that I use are buff and debuff magic. I don't use a lot of the heavy like direct damage spells most of the time. I'll use the win magic some, but it's not that abuse abusable. Uh, terror and public order region okay this stuff is okay it's okay it's not great he doesn't have a mount and that's key he does not have a mount and he can't fight at 24 melee attack 45 armor he does have a lot of hp but he has really weak armor very low melee defense and melee attack he's just he's not fighting anything you got to remember that normal wards are basically like walking carnosaurs with extra stuff um, so you get plus 30 armor okay so he comes stock with all of these at level 1 what is soul quench effective at long range 300 causes magic damage magic missile okay powerful explosion for 700 it's got wind blast Phase protection. Does that go on everybody? Okay, that does go on everybody. So it gives everyone, and it's minus two. It gives everyone 30 armor and 27 melee defense. That's pretty good. Tempest. Magic damage, vortex. Cannot pass through walls. Got cold blooded strider. Really slow. Roiling skies. It's okay. Wind blast, soul quench, tempest. Verona's time warp is good. It's expensive. It gives everybody extra melee attack for 41 seconds, which is decent. That gives everybody in the range for 12. Oh, that is everyone in range, yeah. What's the upgraded? Okay. Chain Lightning, another... So there's a lot of Vortex spells. Vortex are one of the weakest spells because you can't really control where they go and they can hit your own units. Shield of Safari. 11% damage reduction on everybody is good. Exorcism is okay. It only matters if you're fighting against the undead. All right, so it's not worth, not worth. I don't, I don't think he's worth it. And the reason is like you can't have two casters in your army most of the time, or it's you don't want to because uh, you know you only have so much wins of magic. 
And I think that a Skink Priest, which is Beast War, is just going to be better. Because he gets to ride a Stegadon. You get War of Beast, which arguably is better than this. I mean, because it has cheaper spells that are reliable, that are like good buff and debuff, like... You know, it's okay. This is a little bit better, probably, than Beast. But the issue is... It doesn't have a mount. Like, you're giving up the ability to ride a Carnosaur and be a really powerful combat ward um, to have this guy. And, yeah, you save one slot, right? So you don't have to use one army slot to have a Skink. So you could have one more battalion of whatever in your army. But as we've seen already, you're not going to be able to run 20 stacks with most armies. It's way too expensive. Most of my armies are probably going to be, like, little 12 or 13 stacks of just, like, nice elite units. Um... And it's just not enough to justify getting this. And you're not even going to be able to get a lot of these spells because you're going to have to get either Skirmisher or Proud Warrior, and then you're going to have to go down here and get all this stuff. Like, you're not even going to be able to start getting spells until, like, level 14 or something. And when you do, it's okay, but Skink Priest is just going to be better with that Ancient Stegadon, and then you're going to have a Normal Ward riding a Carnosaur, and they're gonna get just they're just so much more combat effective and you're just not getting enough here so you know i was hyping up i was hoping it was gonna be cool i know these are one, like one of the marquee things for lizardmen are these guys um but damn that's expensive even just to all right this guy now hold on why was it Do they not count towards my supply lines? Let me see. But we can get him back eventually. Okay. Yeah, estimate. Okay, so it does go up. I was about to say, it looks like it didn't go down that much, but it says that it does, specifically if you count him. I was like, well, maybe if he doesn't incur the extra 15% cost on everybody, then yeah, I'll get him, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Um, so we got the Bolas here. Almost ready to level up. Um, wait, why did I lose one? Recruitment? Was that giving me one extra recruitment slot? I didn't notice it. It does give me. Oh, dang it. Okay, well that's fine, that's fine. So I got rid of something that was giving me a recruitment slot, which is unfortunate, but... I could be really greedy and go for marble here. That would save me a lot of gold on this. 20% would save me a thousand gold. I think I'll greed out and go for marble. I'm, I'm down for a little bit. We can replace it later. We can trade that marble. Okay, now what was I gonna do here? We got public order. Just gold? Or something? We could go ahead and start Mystic Barriers. I don't think this is gonna be a major point of contention. It already has walls, and that's really not that great. And the army, like, this ability here is not that great. Look, we might get that eventually, but right now I think I'd just rather have money. What is this guy's specialty? This is Humble Hero Recruit Rank. Okay, so we want this one to be over here because this guy will eventually come back over here to recruit, I think. Or do I want to come over here and get Bastilladon? Either way, I want the primetime stuff on this guy, most likely. This guy's not going to be recruiting that much more heroes. Okay, let's go ahead and send him that way. Okay.
Alright, can we kill this clown or what? 42%. What does my other guy have on it? Twenty nine percent. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get rid of him. Okay, get out of here. Just scouting, right? Yeah. Can put him back in next turn. Yeah, so it's definitely not worth, <laughs> but, you know, it is going to give us um, part of determining the great plan, so that's whatever. I mean, it's okay as far as, like, Mage Lords go. It seems okay, but just on Legendary, it's just... the fighters are just better. They almost always are. Given up a th yeah, we can't be giving up a thousand a turn. I have upgraded diamonds. Can I actually sell all those? No, we're only at 53. So it only supports like one stack per like major town that you have. So I need more trade partners. Okay, that's all good. Oh, we did spot. Um. My boy here. Okay. Mazda Mundi. Now, if we have Mazda Mundi, we'll use him. He's a legendary lord. Yeah, they don't like us because of Confederation. I think they will eventually like us again. It'd be nice if I didn't spot him at that moment. But I wanted to complete that quest battle. Okay. The laws of chivalry demand I, I am no churl. I am no churl. Okay, we're gonna have to start busting up the vampire counts for them to like us, probably. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. Now, when do I want to do this vortex? I think I want to do the vortex. Um, I don't want to fight these natrite guys yet. They have almost nothing there. If they step a little bit closer to me, I might just whack them. Uh, I think the elves are probably coming back with a little a little stack here. We'll see. Let's go ahead and go to the next turn. I'm trying to think if I want to do... Okay, so he doesn't need to be over there then. I need to go back. And I'll put him with my other army. I forgot about that because we just spotted Master Moody, so there's no point. Okay, so we can run him back and eventually get him with the other army. Get him into the other army. I need that ritual resource site too, so I need to burn that elf town. They'll probably take it back, but I need that ritual resource site. Okay, wound, failure, whatever. Unless it's staying on. Requirement crafting. Okay, so I get it.
Yeah, another 20 stack there. I just, I can't. Wait, why the hell was this taking an extra? Did I lose another recruitment slot? What's going on? It's troll as hell. Okay, get out. I can't spend any more time with that. Now, they're not going to like it that we're going to run through their territory, but we're going to take some attrition, but we've got to get down there to stop these public order problems. I don't even notice how it's turned. Yes, this army is not quite as stout as I would like for it to be. We can hire um, some extra Saurus warriors if we want. If we need to, and maybe some chameleon skinks. But we gotta get down there right now. These guys are running on home. Okay, so we need to burn that this turn. Probably just gutter fighter. I could. Mm -hmm. This is in like preparation for him doing Stegadon, but that's not going to be a long ways off. I think I just go ahead and get piercing shots then. Give him extra missile attack damage. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and burn this, and then we can next turn run down and take Golden Tower. We gotta, we gotta shut this up. Get him an army. Yeah, so the only reason we didn't just burn it last time because we got fifteen thousand gold off of it. I just don't think, because it's just a single town, I just don't think it's going to be worth to occupy, and we're not going to be able to get much money out of it and all that stuff, so I think we're just going to burn it. It takes all of your movement to burn, also. Sort of frustrating, but... I mean, I have a lot of Saurus that are already ranked 7 or higher. This would be giving them extra weapon strength. I think grabbing that, anything that gives like cold ones extra stuff too would probably be good. Melee attack and defense and missile resist. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't know how the cold ones like leveled up so fast. But anyways, we'll go with that. Kuexel. It's not gonna matter. Well, I mean if we did that, we would get to get some Sars Warriors with shields. I'm probably gonna tear that down though. Just normal Sars Warriors are fine, probably with him. For his purposes, for now. Alright. Uh, do do Yeah, I think it's almost just worth to get Crocs over Saurus here. These have spears, but up here, we couldn't even hire Crocs, I don't think. Almost. I mean, maybe it would be worth upgrading the skink thing, just so we could get Crocs. Because now that I think about it, I mean, if you don't get the discount anyways on... With your other units, 
other lords other than um, my main guy, then that's 250 versus these being like 200. And I would think it's worth paying 50 more to get Crocs. These are just so much tougher, especially if I'm just going to have like, you know, a small little stack of uh, stuff, just like a little 12 stack or something. I could just run like three Crocs. This will give me another Skink Chief too, which I don't necessarily need, but I just run like three Crocs, maybe two um, just Saurus Spears or something. I could even run like two Temple Guard or something. Two Temple Guard, three Crocs. I mean, Temple Guard would almost be more worth at that point. Plus 16 versus large. Or you could just say just not even just run um, just Cold One Spear Riders. And hell, you don't even need... Yeah. So you could just run like three Crocs or something. Maybe even four Crocs. And just cold one spear riders. I think so. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's start it. Because, yeah, I was saying Croc's probably not worth it because you can't upgrade them as much. But. At the same time, if these are 200 anyways, paying 50 more for the Crocs. They're just so much better than these, I think. I mean, these are pretty, like, good. Those are the blessed ones, too. I mean, those are pretty good, but when you're talking Crocs have like 100 armor and they just do so much damage to infantry. I feel like I'd just rather have Crocs. Just, like, maybe four Crocs, like I said, just some Bastilladons, and then just some cold ones to flank. I think would be better. Okay, so if we're going to go that route... I need to get to Croxivores over here. Now, obviously, I would like to hire Crocs over here. But this is taking like a million years to be able to upgrade. How, how much? Get the recruitment, which is just a one time thing. Eh, you do get two chevrons, but they kill so many things in a battle. It's just not going to matter. You're going to get two ranks off of them pretty quickly. So, the minus 3% upkeep is nice. But this is the place where I can actually recruit crocs right now. So, I think that's it's what I, wanted, I need to do. These buildings are fairly cheap, too. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they have up here while I'm at it. What do I want to do here? I think I already decided, as I said before, that I want to just go ahead and recruit the Bastilladons over there. So do I even need to recruit anything at my main place? Get this. If that's my major recruitment center over there, maybe I don't. I guess we'll just chill on it for now. Yeah, we're gonna be a rebellion. No, dude, don't. Don't, Maz. No, oh, don't do it to me, buddy. Why? Ugh. Oh, so much for confederating with Mazamundi. 
Unless we get peace eventually. Wait, what was that last thing? Gain a rank. Oh wow, what? They have Crocs? Oh, Jesus. Right, I'm gonna have to run down and recruit some more stuff the next turn. Did he get it on me? I don't think he... I don't think he did it to me. The block army or whatever. Okay. Seriously, I can't run through? Okay, I might be able to... Like, right... Because that's where the bridge is, I think. Yeah. Okay, so let's go down to, like, right here. Man, I really do... Miss the uh, Skaven underway. And this guy could go hostile at any moment. But I've got to get down here and deal with those because we're going to have more rebellions than that coming up soon. I'll try to get peace with Mazda Mundi eventually. Okay, yeah, I need to sell one of these since this is not my major recruitment place anymore. Okay, it's interpreting meaning. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna hire the Bastilodons up here. Get rid of this crap, so we already have one of those somewhere. Best of a little punk, man. I still am really glad that I confederated with that, though. That's just so huge. That they had, like, a tier 5 town just ready to go right there. Can I hit it? Yes. Okay, very good. Alright. Right this. Priest Heavens. Missile resistance is actually not that bad. Is he's gonna get a lot of missile fire probably, so getting a little extra missile resistance is probably okay. We're just barely behind these other factions. I think if we take this Definitely just going to be an Occupy also. Nice, Administrator. I 
feel like a lot of factions are getting like move speed and replenishment heroes. At least with the um the Skaven and the Wizardmen, I feel like that's happening all the time. Uh yeah, right there. Attack, defense, missile resist for my huge units. Armor does I already have so much armor. Magic resist is okay. I mean this one's pretty good too, but I think this cold ones. Uh eventually we might be interested in getting this undead one. Maybe like in the next couple of turns. Whenever we want to fight Netrarch, obviously that would be a good one point wonder there. We don't need a lot of this other stuff. I mean, this would be good for Crocs. We're not gonna have Crocs in this army probably. But for other uh, my other homeboy over there that Sacred Guardian would probably be pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it's going to create a rebellion. Unless... Yeah, we could get rid of that. It's going to be a thousand gold, but that'll save me one turn on a rebellion. Yeah, we're going to need public order here. And then I think just public order here. I mean, they're going to siege that. I mean, I could just pop over here, hire some, um... Hire some Saurus. And then just leave this on, kill them, and then we're going to have to uh, rotate down here and kill them. They're going to have a lot of units. That's going to be a problem. Uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and try just see if I can get this. I want that eventually because this is going to be a major place that's going to get hit. So. Okay, uh, and we get the ritual. Now, I could go ahead and start the ritual if I want to do that. That might actually help with public order. I forgot about that. If you do rituals, sometimes it helps with public order. You get money. Oh, it does give you public order. So I could have done that and not gotten a rebellion here, probably. What all does it give you? It gives you upkeep, public order, recruitment. Then six in other places. That would mean this is not would not get one this turn, but then it would get one next turn. I'm already positioned. I want to go ahead and just make sure I kill it this turn. And then rotate down, I think is my plan. Okay. So we can wait until we can chill here for a turn, I guess. And then we can wait until next, because I don't need anything from over here to recruit. The other option is I could just fill out my army with skinks also. Uh, who's this? This guy needs to go down and get into this army. So we can just...
track down here. Move faster on the sea than you do on land, so. Uh, okay. It's gonna be good. Just double check all these buildings. I think everything's to snuff. Don't worry about that. Fine. Okay. Well, two Zlatland forces. So what happens if both of them win? Zlatland will get both of them. So this is why it's not stupid for them to be like suiciding when they're on their last legs the ai because then if it's a situation like this then they just might be able to take that town and get reformed um i mean they have at least two crocs and that's gonna be really bad for me because i don't have a lot of cold one riders or spears admin casualty Oh, nice. I should have laced him up before. Forgot about it. It's fine now, whatever. Yeah, I should have had the movement stuff on him from a while ago. Grab that. Experience is it's okay. It's okay. It's better than some of the other ones out there that are just like um leadership. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Tear it on cold one stick it on best of yes. Can I get... Okay, it won't let me... Now I can either run all the way around, or I can try to run down here and get in on this coast. Now if I come in on this coast though, I think I'm gonna have to run around to this bridge. Uh, let me see what he has. So if I just attack him, then I can like not attack him. Now, I do have two crocs in my um, settlement garrison, so that's actually pretty good. They have two crocs. Okay. I could beat that if I get my army down there in time. Okay. So my options are... I can try to run over land. I would get here, and then it would take me one... Let's see, one, two, three. It would still take me three. Or I can get into the water and then run. I might probably get back on the shore here. I can grab this wreckage while I'm at it, or this wreckage. I'm not sure which one's closer. Probably this one. Okay, let's just grab this wreckage and then just position to get. Okay. What was that just a little bit of experience or something? I'm not even sure if I want this last proud warrior now. 
I mean, I guess I do already have Saurus in here, and it is going to help me for the current battle. And it's just one point. Oh, what? It took all of my movement? I thought it was just going to be a little bit of movement. Well, I kind of got baited there. Yeah, we need to make sure we get this done right. Let's go ahead and skip that. It's fine. Then we'll come over here. Okay, we did get some treasury. That's okay. It's okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I kind of want to just go ahead and activate the thing right now. But if they send an army at me, it's going to come this way. So we can just go ahead and position over here. And do I have walls? Now, before the first wave in my Skaven campaign, they only attacked places that, like, the core place. They only attacked the core place. So, they didn't take my other cities. They just went, they started really far up north, and then they attacked my core place. Um... Wait, where is it? Here? It's 1,200 for a little bit more. I don't think we can support more than that. We're only doing 80% right now, so it's not going to be worth... We have too many trade things. These guys could turn on me at, at any moment. Like, literally any moment. I could afford one more lord if I had to here and just like crank out some skinks or stegodons or something and defend. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start the ritual though. Let's get this going. So I'm in position, I think, to defend pretty well. Let's do it. The ritual is underway. This might be a mistake, but even working together, it will take your greatest adept some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull. Be wary, though, for while the vortex is weakened, the forces of chaos will slip into this world. Ready your defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. Okay, so I'm going to chill here and just see if they send any intervention forces. The intervention should appear here, I believe. And I should be able to walk up and kill them if that's the case. Um, if it's not here, then I can book it, like, over here to help defend this area down here. I might be a little overloaded. Might be a little dicey, might be a little dicey, but I... I just really wish there's like a path through here that wasn't so like just terrible to run through, just like a trail. Yeah, these little dinky units. This this one's not that bad. I think our main guy can probably handle it. It's sometimes the intervention forces can be a little rowdy. We're still working our techs, right? Yeah, we're still getting this. Many of old ones. Just make sure everybody has followers. Hey, thanks for so much for the sub. I appreciate it. So that way when he pops into my um, army next turn, he's already going to have Administrator. So that will give me some more movement speed. You just you got to stack it. Because every hero that you have that gives you that plus 8%, it goes with, like, they all stack up. So if you have three heroes in your um, army and they all have that plus 8, you get plus 24% move speed. I'm pretty sure. So you can get some really, like, 
fast moving uh, units. Okay, I think I already looked. Let me just check everything. Why is that paused? Oh, because I got attacked. Why is it improving? Oh, because the penalty fell off. They have a version and great power. Uh, am I at war with the Dark Elves? I didn't see that. Huh. I'll go ahead and pay him. And the reason that I want to pay him is if I eventually confederate, that'll give me a ritual resource site. And then I can do my best to try to defend this. 700 is not that much right now. I'll go ahead and butter him up a little bit. Since it looks like I may not ever get... Because he's declared war on me. Hopefully he'll get over it soon. Armored in faith. These lands are ours by the right granted from the Lady of the Lake. What do you want? Impossible. Can I offer assistance? What can I do for you, warrior of the earth? Once I complete the ritual, they're not gonna like that. What? Okay. Alright, let's see if we get any intervention forces. High elves gonna declare a war on us or something and send a 20 stack our way. Yep. There we go. About what I thought. They're fond of that. The High Elves just have so much money up there on their little island, too. They just love to send stuff at you. Whenever you're doing your ritual. It's usually the High Elves or the Dark Elves send the interventions. I've seen one from some other factions, too, but those are the most common ones. Oh, damn. That's a pretty serious army. That's like the the 5,000 gold version, I think. I don't think that's the 10,000 gold version. It might be. Guys. God bless. Okay, so they're just going to go through and burn my stuff now. They never did that in Skaven until like the third or fourth stack. They just went, they just beelined straight for your ritual site. They didn't hit everything else. Wow. Okay, well, lesson learned. Troll central. Now they're gonna burn it. Boom. Yeah, that's frustrating as hell. Whoa, are they running up towards my tier five town? Hold on, are you guys serious? They're seriously heading north. They are seriously trying to head north. Wow. So they're not even like worried about the ritual sites. They're just straight up, and now they're gonna go down here for this. Mm, it's a pretty good little army. I mean, we can deal with all this crap. It's just annoying as hell. <laughs> that they're just basically ignoring, like, because they're supposed to be there to stop my ritual, right? They're basically just ignoring it. Okay, well, I guess it's not going to let me up here for whatever reason. I can land here, though, and maybe get in in a couple of turns. Wow. 
Oh, it's pretty troll. Uh, maybe I'll just hire this guy just because he has magic. I mean, he'd be better like, well, but he can't fight. But I won't have a magic user with him. Although I can hire a normal combat lord and then I will have, I will be able to hire a skink priest to help out. Yeah, we might need a third lord up here. Okay, well... I guess if they didn't troll me at least a few times, it wouldn't have a interesting campaign. Threaten Sea Guard. Yeah, we can beat him. Especially with our garrison helping out, I think we can beat him for sure. Well, I guess they got us an intervention force because somebody has to actually try to stop me from casting this ritual instead of just attacking all my random towns. Um, I mean, it's saying we're going to slaughter them, but I'll fight them. Just for funsies, because we haven't uh, we haven't fought high elves yet. I don't think. Did we? No, we did. I forgot. We like both quest battles. I think were against high elves. <clears throat> but they have some pretty serious stuff. I mean, maybe there's a universe where they could take me. I'm doubtful, but uh, we'll see. I don't have to dash back down there as fast as I can because the um, the chaos are going to try to get my ritual site next. I think my um, the thing that gives me the ritual currency, not the site. I mean, God forbid they actually go for their objective, but <laughs> they uh, they're going to try to burn my exposed settlements, and that's a really exposed one. So they're just on troll patrol. Start deployment. I don't even care. I, I'm gonna get some reinforcements. I think we'll crush them without him. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's too. I'll, I'll wait on the. I'll wait on him. That's too brazen. Cause I am gonna have. I don't want to lose units. Cause I am gonna have to fight straight away after this. Some chaos. Some little dinky chaos units. Then we'll go kill some natural brotherhood or something. Now the annoying thing, once you start doing the second and the third ritual, they get some pretty serious stuff and they just pop up like right in the middle of your settlements and they attack your stuff on the first turn with walls, which doesn't matter as much if you're Skaven because everything's so cheap to replace, but it's going to be really annoying as Glizzerman that your walls aren't even going to do anything. Because they just attack it on the first turn anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and put these part of my four group. I don't care about him. We'll just put him in with the one group. It's fine. All these in the one group. Well, get these over two group, I guess. Yeah, they're just gonna chill and force me to come to them. It's fine. All right. Got those all set up. Set these up. <clears throat> That's right, Croc scores. They're active. I want them to catch their breath first. They go down to fresh. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, they've got elves set up over there. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to. What? What the hell kind of troll map is this? How do I even get in there? This small little choke point in the woods. What? Oh, Jesus. Alright. That's... That's an interesting map design. So they basically get, like, completely surrounded by walls with their missile infantry so that I can't 
get in there, really, to attack them. It's cool. I'm gonna save it for Midnight Wind here in a second. What are they doing? Oh, get in here, don't. You're not going to catch those. They're probably not going to catch all of them. Or a lot of them. Everything else should be able to replenish.
Alright, there we go. Dang it, I forgot it's going to stop my ritual, too, if they attack um, Yuan Tech before I get there. I didn't think about that, because if I lose it, if I got it sacked normally, it wouldn't matter, but if I get it sacked now, it's going to be a big problem. Huh. That might put me back a little bit. Dude. God, I can't take him next turn. I don't think. Can I hit him? Oh, they're out of range. Oh, that means Chaos is gonna get to come over here and burn this. God, that's so troll, man. Why did... Or... These guys are so hurt. I mean, maybe my garrison can just handle them. My garrison's like full strength, pretty much. That's a terrible siege comp. Actually, that more punishment. Um, I wish this guy had like some kind of fighter upgrades. Just doesn't have them. I mean, I guess I could get this stupid thunderbolt. I mean, it is really cheap. It is very cheap. I mean, I, whatever. I'll get it. Give me something else to do with my mana. Yeah, I think I just leave these guys alone. Maybe I just... Get rid of something here. Get rid of this. I mean, who... Well, I'm gonna need one of these for determining the great plan at some point anyways. they attack the cursed jungle though over here they're gonna be able to burn it I think they'll, hopefully they don't troll me like that right, let's just get rid of the money here or we can get rid of the scry thing since we already started the upgrades actually the 15% movement range will be pretty nice next turn we'll get rid of this just a little bit of cash um, Let's get rid of a low-ranking Saurus here. Actually, no, that is a um, Blessed Warrior. They seem to be leveling up a lot slower than the other ones. I don't know what's up with that. Those are the Blessed ones. Let's get rid of... Is that just a rank... That's a rank 7. Let's get rid of that one. Get this guy in here. Make sure he doesn't die this time to Queek. Uh, this will give me just one more speed up. It'll lower his upkeep cost. And then uh, just having Administrator there is huge. Okay. Um... I think we're gonna have to leave them their own devices. Straight trolling, let's see if we move them. This guy's coming in hot soon. So if I have to, I should be able to dash over here and then attack with the town. I might I could probably take him even if I do that. Might not even need to dash. Might be able to normally walk over here. As long as we have administrator. We can hire another lord over here if we need to. Alright, let's see. I think we 
could, if we were really scared, like, we could do this. It does last for 15 turns. 1,000 gold is a lot, but you get to hire three cold ones in every single fight. So if we do another ritual right after this, almost immediately after this, we could use the, um, the feral cold ones for that too. Or for that as well. Um, yeah, I am a little bit scared they might just attack me here next turn, and I, I think I can beat them, maybe, with just this force. It'd be really hard though, and if this gets sacked, that's gonna be really bad. So I think maybe I just have to go ahead and use that. Because those feral cold ones will actually help a lot. If that's the case, if that's what's going down. If they decide to troll. It's 50 turn cooldown, but whatever. And that'll help me if they try to go up here and attack also. I think I'm gonna, let's just do it. It's very expensive, but. Whoa, what? Hold on, what? 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 Wait, hold on, why? What am I missing? Is this... Didn't I have 38? It deducted 12 straight up, didn't it? Or does it take 12? That's a 5,000 or 6,000 gold swing. Army up, keep 12,000. Huh. Does it charge you that over two turns or something? What? What am I missing? 3,000. 3,000. So my army upkeep's about 6,000. That's where they get 12,000 from. Wait, why do I have this guy? Wait, who the hell is this? Hold on. I'm so confused. Why the hell do I have this guy? What? What just happened? Oh, an army with a feral carnosaur stag it on a bestill it on units will spawn you. Oh, I didn't read that part. Okay. So all I just thought you got this. All feral cold ones. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, I mean, I could hand off some of those to this. It's so expensive. But, I mean, I am going to get a huge discount. I mean, how much... Okay, so I'm going to get 20% off here. I get 10% off normally. And I get an additional 15% off here. Okay, I've seen this army before. I was like, how do they have this so early in the campaign? So I remember seeing this before, this exact army composition. And I was like, how did they get all that? 
Okay, so that explains a little bit more now. So I'm going to be in the red, but I could distribute this down to... Um, that explains why it's 12,000 gold to hire this. Okay, I was like, why is it so expensive just to get cold ones? But the cold ones are expensive. They're, they're nice. Um, okay, well, first order of business is obviously killing this. Yeah, obviously massacre. I could just, I mean, I, like, what, okay, so what do I want to do with this? This is so weird, but I think I can just put, like, a lot of these units in my, just transfer these over to um, my core army, because I'm going to get a huge discount on them off of him, so, you know, I might as well. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So I'm going to disband a lot of it because it's just far, far too expensive right now. Um, but I want those units. So I can put those in my other army. Wow, that is weird. I, di I totally didn't even read that. And this will be a free lord, so if I need to hire another lord down the line, it'll save 800 gold. Eventually I will need a third lord. Ooh, I could actually run down there and hand this off right now to him. So what do I get rid of? I mean, these are... Like, 35 gold. 35 gold for these right now. I mean, that is ludicrous. Like, how cheap that is. How much are these? These are 225. These are 248. These are straight up 500. But a lot of this is because I have one more army, right? A lot of this is because it's 15% extra. So if it's 3,800 right now, if I get rid of 15%, that'll save me like 700. So that'll take it down to like 3,000. So the question is, I can definitely get rid of these little dinky things. But these things... These go down to 225. So what would these be? So if these are 225, that's a cost reduction of almost 50%. Not quite, but close to 50%. So that means these are probably going to be like 280 a piece or something. Now, am I getting the upgrade? I have the upgraded Carnosaurs, right? Or not... I have Beast Drivers, not Carnosaurs, but... Stegodon and Bastilodon. So the Stegodons are going to get some extra stuff. And the Bastilodons, but no, I don't have Hunt Leader. For Carnosaurs. That's for Cold One and Pterodon. This is for... Okay, that would give me Carnosaur stuff. Okay. That's that's a really crazy ride then. I thought that ride sucked, but that that's insane. I didn't realize you got an army with that. I thought it was just the Cold Ones. Reading's hard. Okay, so what? I've got to keep this crew because this is, these are just so cheap. That's absurd, and I need cheap stuff right now. Um, these are so cheap too. I mean, maybe I just get rid of this army. I hate to get rid of all of this stuff though, but I mean, I can keep three thousand of it if I want to, and still be about even. Okay, so Saurus Warriors are good. Maybe these are just better though, but these are about two and a half times these. These are Mace Infantry though. These don't have any kind of bonus against large. These do. I mean, are these even better? Like, I have so many upgrades on Saurus. Rank 8. Except Sorry, this just hit me like... Okay, so they're going to do 12% more weapon strength, armor, magic resist. Does that 
That means they're going to be doing somewhere around like 62 or 63 weapon strength. Now we have 66 armor, which is alright, I guess. So I could just go with like... I already have such huge flank control with these, so... All I need are just frontline, like, tank type of things. Those are so absurdly strong for their cost. Um, like these guys are all riding big monsters. I already have, or like, this guy's a Carnosaur, this guy's a Stegodon, this guy will eventually be another Stegodon. The Crocs are good. But maybe I could just replace them with the Stegodon. He's going to get a lot more, a lot more bonuses. About the same. He's going to be cheaper than the Crocs, the way I have it up right now. Um, yeah, I mean maybe. Like, I don't know, like, the Crocs are good, but... They're expensive, and they're just not going to have the same upgrades. Those are so much faster, though. Those do go Berserk faster, but they do cause Terror, and they have a larger charge bonus. I mean, Crocs are good, but I... I just don't get the discount on them. Okay, so let's get rid of... Let's trade this out for a Carnosaur. That'll be a better anti-large. Then... Carnosaur will trade the Crocs for a Stegodon. Okay, let's go ahead and just run him down here. Wow, okay, so I could have done the right, had this kill that army, and then I could have had my main guy just come down here and deal with Chaos immediately, and I would not have had to run up there. I just didn't know that was going to spawn. So, lesson learned. Okay, so we'll trade that down. Trade a crop for the highest ranking Stegodon. I, I can't trade these out. I think, I mean... It's just, yeah, there's such a good bargain. Like, 35 gold, are you kidding me? For these gold one spear riders. I, I mean, obviously, like, these are better in the abstract than those are. But, like, we're talking, like, 400 gold versus 35 gold. Trade one of these for highest ranking. Feral Carnosaur. The Blesseds, I don't know if the Blesseds are worth it, it just feels like they just don't even level up hardly. I don't know why they're so low ranked. Um, I mean, if I was really crazy, I could just trade out all of these for just like all Stegodons. These are like twice the price though. It'd be a hell of a front line. I mean, once I get the revivification crystals, I, I think just revivify with huge tanky stuff is going to be good. These would be way better in a choke points. They both go berserk. They have such massive armor. I mean, maybe I could do that. Like, how insane would that be? Just one, two, one, two, three. Six. Just get trade out six for one, two, three, four, five, six. Just make that my front line. How stupid is that to do that? See, what would be the downside? Obviously, this would be really bad into like a lot of spears, or not great into a lot of spears, 
or halberds. Now, they do get a bonus for infantry, though, so they would do all right against halberds. But... I feel like that's foolhardy. I feel like these are just going to be better just sitting in combat against halberds, and they're cheaper. So I don't want to do all of them. But what is this? Spears. Yeah, spear... So this would give me like three Carnosaurs, because he's riding one, then I'll give me another one, then he's going to ride one. Give me two Stegodons, three, four Stegodons. That's fine, I think. And then I can just get rid of all this. I, I am very tempted. It would be a hilarious army to run like all, just like all six of these and just say, come at me. But I feel like that would be weak against, um, like, a lot of halberds or spears. Or, like... Yeah, that's just that's just too goofy. I need to have some of these, just so I... Because these have good matchups in the halberds. I, I have too many of these, honestly, but they're just so cheap, I feel like I have to run them. I feel like running, like, four of these would be more appropriate. But, okay, I think that's all I want to do. I, I'm kind of tempted to get one more Feral Carnosaur. It's just so expensive, though. It's unnecessary. I'm already going to slaughter everybody. I, just, I need to think about the cost. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. As much as I love the Croxagores, they just aren't worth the cost, I think. These are just better, I feel like. And now, typically, these are like, you know, almost not 50% more, but a lot more, at least 25 or 30% more gold. It's just that I have far more cost reduction on them than I do on the um, on the Crocs. So, do that. And I think this looks pretty good. Got a six stack, nice, cheap frontline units. We got our flankers. We got a lot of terror causing monstrous beasts on the back line. That looks good. And I'm just going to delete all these, which kind of pains me, but we, we cannot afford that right now. Come in and clean up these idiots. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I just did the 12,000 strictly because I wanted to summon cold ones for 15 turns in every fight. Ooh. God, I hate to get rid of all of those, but I just kind of have to. What is this? This cold one? Alright, so it pains me to do that. But we can summon him back in 50 turns if we want another one. At least I got to kill this army off. That is That is something. And it's something I wasn't expecting anything. Like I said, I was literally just expecting to be able to summon cold ones for 12,000. I was not expecting to get that army. So that actually was a, a bonus I didn't even realize that I was going to get. Okay. I think we're probably about out of time, but... Let's see what happens here. Wow. Wow. That's a strong ability. Yeah, I mean, so the better way to use it, and down the line in 50 turns, when I use it for, like, Ritual 3 or something... Um, when I'm doing the third ritual, then I can use that and know that, you know, they're going to have my back at the capital. And when I have more gold, I might be able to actually, like, sustain that. Okay, what's going on? Are they coming for me? Oh, they're thinking about it. Yeah. Definitely thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, I can afford to get peace with them now. Because I don't care about their property anymore. All I care about is dealing with Chaos and then the uh, Netrarch Brotherhood. Yeah, they're creeping on me. Oh, both of them want to come at me, huh? Sweet. I'll kill them all. Blood sacrifice. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm going to fight the Netrak Brotherhood here in a second anyway, so... Now, they might come and fight me if I do this. 
Do I really want them to fight me right now, though? Because I'm not, like, in this area ready to go. I don't care about 14 wins of magic. It does not matter. So I guess we'll just do this. I mean, eight. I, I really don't care. Like, this army has no magic user in it, so that doesn't matter. And then my core army, I'm just going to bulldoze these guys, so it's not going to matter. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And the reason is, I just don't want Natrak to come at me right now. Like, I need to take care of Chaos first and recolonize this place. Okay, let's go ahead and get walls. I mean, what time is it? Are we past time? We probably are. Oh my... Holy crap, how was it that long? I had no idea. Jeez, okay, I'm sorry guys. I should have looked at the time more. I didn't realize this episode was that long. Well, that was... Super long episode. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll try to break them up into a smaller episode. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have a good day